Hey guys, so this is a bit of a haul, a couple of dislikes and likes, some things I got in Turkey. I didn't buy too much. They only have three main makeup brands and nothing too exciting. I finally got the Chimmy Choo at the Duty Free. The top notes on this are Mandarin Orange, Pear, Green Notes, the middle note is Orchid. The base note is toffee and patchouli. Now the thing is when you're like in a really hot country and you smell certain perfumes, you, they just go under. I mean you can't smell them. You can't really tell if it's strong or weak and I was expecting this to be much stronger than it is. It lasts about three to four hours. To my nose it's nice. It's not earth shattering. Not really unusual, just nice. Me, once I spray it, it opens up with toffee and patchouli really strong, but that's gone really fast. And yeah, like I said, it's somewhat, somewhat of an earthy, sweet smell after that. A product that I tried that I really like is the Vileda Almond Oil that I mentioned. My friend Michelle asked me to go into detail with this, so there's not really much I can say. Um, it's hypoallergenic, fragrance free, it's, it just makes your skin look radiant. It works actually on any type of skin. Of course you wouldn't use it like underneath foundation or something. I used it like the first three days after coming back from the ocean each day because it soothes the skin. I'm not saying it is for sunburned skin, but it actually it's, it's nice and soothing. It's easily absorbed. This also has plum kernel oil, which works with the almond oil for the face, sort of balancing and soothing your sensitive skin due to high quantities of the antioxidants that are in here, um, including vitamin A, vitamin E, then it also has organic blackthorn flower extract which protects your skin, it strengthens your skin. It just makes your skin feel sort of gives you that restored feeling. I don't know how to explain it and it feels soft and protected. And yeah, I really liked it. The Nude Advanced Pribonic Skin Care, the serum, the Advanced Cellular Renewal Serum I really liked. I use this every day along with the Essential C Night Moisturizer. Now this Night Moisturizer with, with Vitamin C, I wouldn't recommend this for dry skin but normal to oily or anything because it's, it is a bit drying but it nevertheless still feels good and I liked it with using the serum along with it. The Amika hair oil, I use this every day, coming back from the ocean, taking a shower, I have tons of this in my hair, and I really love it. This is also a product I would definitely repurchase. While being on the plane, I repurchased another tube of this, the Clarence Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. Okay, I don't know why I'm unpacking this, I have the tube here. As you can see, I'm like right down to here. Um, when I first got this, to me, this cream smells hideous. I cannot stand the scent of this hand cream, but it's still a good hand cream. I basically use this at night, so I don't have to smell it. But I actually like it. it it's really nice on the cuticles. Yeah, it just feels good. Eye cream I already mentioned that I liked is the Renewing Eye Cream from Dr. Mura. This is my second tube of this. Energizing Face Spray from The Body Shop, the Vitamin C Spray. This really surprised me. I really like this. Um, I'm thinking I even like this better than the MAC Fix Plus. The problem I have with the MAC Fix Plus is with certain foundations and certain powder foundations, once you do touch-ups, it just ruins the whole foundation and I don't have the problem with this. This makes you look fresh. You can do touch-ups with liquid foundation, powder foundations and it doesn't ruin it. So really I loving this. got some more of the hydroquinone, the 4% which I really really like which I will start in the winter again with my hyperpigmentation. 
um, I got some retina A 0.1% now I've never done this process I will be writing some friends of mine asking getting some recommendations on this I'm not sure if this will be too strong for me but I'm still gonna give it a try Tretinoin, I got a tube I also met this chemist, this pharmacist there that I had a long conversation with with skincare and everything and he recommended me these this is highly concentrated hyaluronic acid if I can get it open so basically what you have you have these valves you open it up so I think it's 30 days I'm not sure now when it comes to hyaluronic acid I'm a bit skeptical I never I mean I've done some research and I don't know I always believed it has to be injected in order for it to does what it's supposed to do and so this guy was telling me the pharmacist no no give this a try blah 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 and so on contains specially structured hyaluronic molecules that can be absorbed by the skin externally to reduce wrinkles and it's actually he says it's supposed to go really deep into the skin because it's highly concentrated and so on so it actually wasn't that expensive so I thought I'd give it a try another product that sort of gave me a wow effect was the Laura Mercier face polish I got this as a free gift with the portfolio and I was just thinking it would be like any other exfoliator until Mirinda wrote me telling me oh this really got some great reviews and she would like to know what I think the first time I used it it immediately I was like wow it doesn't feel anything like your standard exfoliator this is called a polish and that's exactly what it feels like after you use it your skin really feels polished clean I like this it can be used on any skin type and even if you have dry skin you would use it either once or twice a week normal to oil you can use stay and this is definitely a product I will purchase um, I really like this so Marinda if you're watching I definitely give this product a thumbs up Sticking to Laura Mercier product that I don't the like. Tightline activator. I finally had a chance. This is the only activator I took with me, and as you can tell, I did use some of it. Your shadow's extremely smudge proof. It stays on. You can line with it. The, the problem I have with this, it's extremely oily. It's exactly, if I put my hair oil beside this, it would be the exact consistency of any other oil, as you can see so the problem with that is you can only use certain type of shadows once you use baked shadows it kind of clumps up um, using a standard shadow it works but still not as good as the Lisuatier the Metamorphix or the Kiko mixing solution where this if you if I put this beside it you don't see any type of oil it's just a liquid activator feels like water okay you're not gonna see a difference but this is still oily it dries down after a while but nevertheless it's still oily I don't like that and I prefer an activator that I can use with any type of shadow and the Lissuatier and the Kiko is definitely two activators that I love instead of the Laura Mercier. Another product that I'm not too happy with is the Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. I like the consistency. I like that it doesn't stay sticky on the face. It dries on the face but doesn't feel dry. The problem I have, now it may be my skin, it breaks up after six hours so for me this last six hours five to six hours one thing I cannot stand is foundations breaking up after six hours they have to last at least eight hours or whatever it's a nice foundation but it's not one I would repurchase 
So that covers about it. Just a few favorites. I'll be adding some pictures from vacation. They're not too exciting. They didn't turn out and basically it's the same place where I was before. So I want to say thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Bye.